There's no other job, the colonial roots of Philippine poverty, Rodino Sawan stepped into the wire harness and dug his toes into the muddy track that threads the sweltering plantation. He pushed forward, straining against the cargo trailing behind him, twenty-five bunches of freshly harvested bananas strung from hooks attached to an assembly line, six days a week, Mr. Sawan, fifty-five, a father of five, toes batches of fruit that weigh one thousand five hundred pounds to a nearby processing plant, often as planes buzz overhead misting down pesticides. He returns home with aches in his back and daily wages of 380 Philippine pesos, or about $6.80, one day last year, the plantation bosses fired him. The next day, they hired him back into the same role as a contractor. Cutting his pay by 25%, now, we can barely afford rice, Mr. Sawan said. Still, he continued to show up, resigned to the reality that, on the island of Mindanao, as in much of the rural Philippines, plantation work is often the only work, it's an insult, he said. But there's no other job, so what can I do? The desperation confronting tens of millions of landless Filipinos stems in part from policies imposed by the powers that controlled the archipelago for centuries, first Spain, and then the United States, in a region defined by upward mobility through manufacturing the Philippines stands out as a nation still heavily